it also comes down to things like um, cardiac remodeling is not going to be based just on what your blood pressure is. So if anyone is actually curious about what the actual cardiac remodeling is, there's a lot of evidence out there to show that high doses of anabolic steroids induce left ventricular hypertrophy, as well as a stiffening basically of the heart muscle. And the reason it does this is because the heart muscle is a muscle itself. It's basically a muscle just like our skeletal muscle and it responds to anabolic signaling just like our skeletal muscle and it will hypertrophy in response to excess androgen exposure. And the reason we don't want a thick heart is because there are fibers that actually run through the left ventricle itself and basically what these do is deliver the electrical current for the heart to beat itself and if these are disrupted in any way that is not good because once the electrical current is disrupted in the heart that can seriously predispose you to sudden cardiac death and arrhythmias if we look at dallas mccarver's heart for example a very prominent bodybuilder and sadly tragically death in the bodybuilding world his heart was 900 grams that is three times as much as a normal male's heart should be. And whilst the medical examiners did hypothesize that he actually died of a heart attack, which is not sudden cardiac death or related to electrical disturbances, um, it's all sort of interrelated. And an ECG that he actually had done when he collapsed earlier that year did show that just before his death, a few months earlier, he did meet the minimum voltage criteria for left ventricular hypertrophy. The other reason for really keeping an eye on left ventricular hypertrophy and cardiac remodeling is that once the heart remodels, it's very hard to actually reverse that and fibrosis can result, which is a general inability of the heart to be supple and to beat and relax effectively. The heart beats and relaxes and it goes through that cycle, which is called the systole and diastole cycles. And basically when your heart is very thick and hypertrophied and you may have some fibrosis in there it becomes just very tough to relax and beat and that means that your ejection fraction which is how well your heart is actually beating blood out of your left ventricle can reduce as a result which means basically your heart is not getting the blood around your body as well as it should be you would think it's weird a bigger and stronger heart should pump blood more effectively but that's not the case it's actually a bit of a paradox in that a bigger and thicker heart actually does a lot worse at beating blood around your body very well. And this can happen with even TRT if you're calling TRT 240 milligrams a week, which it's really not. The body only produces about three to seven milligrams of testosterone. I think it's that high. I don't it's think not. 200 to 240 is high. You're making, it, you're making me feel like this is a huge dose that I'm taking. Now, of course, 240, which uh, Adam is taking, if you actually take the ester weight off that, which is about 30%, that leaves you with 168 milligrams of pure testosterone. And even at the upper limit which is seven milligrams this is far in excess this is 24 times more testosterone that he's injecting than you produce naturally even at the upper limit so 240 in my opinion is not legitimate testosterone replacement therapy and just predisposing yourself to these cardiac risk factors and this cardiac remodeling over a long extended period is probably not going to be very good for your longevity so please stay safe out there guys i just wanted to do this quick video about cardiac remodeling because it's so important keep safe out there if you have any further questions about how the heart actually remodels itself there i can go into the science a lot more because there is so much science on this but um yeah just keep safe this is all about keeping you safe and healthy this whole channel is dedicated to keeping you healthy and safe using the science and research rather than bro science and bullshit and marketing out there so Keep safe. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.